everyone. Uh, today we'll be looking at Discord and I will show you how to create an AI agent that you can connect to any Discord uh, server and ask it questions. Uh, this is the end result, what we're uh, driving at. So here is a new server and I created a Quidshot AI bot that whenever you ask a question, it responds in a thread and you can ask. And it's a bot that knows about the Quidshot AI product. So you can ask a question like, how to integrate which up with Discord. And here it's communicating with the Quickchat server. And the response that arrives comes from the knowledge base that was given to it. Here, as you can see, is the full uh, set of steps that we will actually be going through in this very video. So let's go. We want to start completely from scratch. So let me go ahead and create a new Discord server. Let's go and create my own for me and my friends. And let's call it, um, yeah, that's fine. Let's call it Piot's server and create. I can do it on Discord completely for free. And there I am as the only user of my brand new server. Now let's head over to Discord and create our application. So we're going to be going to discord.com slash developer slash applications. By the way, um, all these steps uh, are uh, outlined both in our documentation and uh, on our blog post here. Uh, I will be linking to those in the description of the video so you can go through the steps uh, in your own pace later on. Uh, I already have some applications, but I will create a new one to show you all the steps. Let's call it Goats App accept terms and create. Confirm that I'm not a robot. And there it is, that's, that's my application and we're ready to start with setting up our bot. As a first step that is very important, uh, let's go to the bot section and scroll down to the message content intent and set it to active and save changes. That way our bot will be able to access the actual content of messages and we'll be able to reply to them. And we can already go ahead and add our bot to our Discord server. The way to do it on Discord is to generate the special URL that you paste into your browser and it automatically adds the bot to the server. The URL looks something like this and it's got these two mysterious parameters, client ID and permissions. So let's discuss them uh, one by one. Permissions is this uh, special number here that basically encodes the four permissions that the bot needs to operate correctly on Discord. And for example, you can find them in our uh, documentation article about Discord, and those are send messages, create, create public threads, send messages in threads, and read message history. Uh, and we can just validate that this number is correct by going to uh, Discord My Applications, bot, and scrolling down to bot permissions, and clicking on send messages, create public threads, send messages in threads, and read message history, and we can uh, just check that the integer that we've got here is the correct one. And now about the client ID. Client ID is simply the ID of your application. So the easiest way is to copy paste it, copy from it from your URL and paste it here. Now the full URL is ready, so we can just hit enter and add the bot to our server. Uh, as you can see here, Discord tells me uh, what's going to happen, that the bot, that I'm adding the bot to a server, it creates command, it doesn't record a new mixtape, and it's adding it is to this server. Let's allow it. Uh, here also Discord tells me which are exactly the four permissions that I gave to the bot. I can change my mind now, but let's not do that. And let's authorize the bot to join a server. Let's prove I am a human and go. So we can see that the bot uh, with the Piot's app name uh, is here, but it's still offline because we haven't connected it to QuickChat yet. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's head over to the QuickChat app, back to external apps and Discord. And in order to enable Discord, we need the Discord bot token. And that's what we're going to find in Discord applications. In the bot section, there is this, the token section here. We can reset the bot, uh, the bot token. Uh, I need to resubmit the password. And the token is here. I can copy it 
and go to quick chat to paste it. Now the token is here and everything is saved. So if we go back to our server, yay, the, uh, the app is now online and we can validate that if we go back to quick chat, we disable Discord, the app goes offline. If we name it again, the app is working again. Uh, so uh, that's it. The bot is now connected. So let's see what we can actually do with it. So now that the bot is set up, uh, we can actually go ahead and uh, test it. And the way to do it is to first tag it. Uh, that's how you start a thread with a bot. And then you can say something like, is anybody there? Uh, of course, we haven't done any setup in the QuickChat application. So the bot is a fully fully vanilla bot with no special knowledge or skills. Uh, but here, here it is responding. Yes, I'm here. How can I assist you today? Uh, what can you do for me? And now if I'm, when I'm inside the thread, I don't need to tag the bot anymore. The conversation just continues. I can help answer questions and so on and so forth. Uh, so that's it. Uh, the, the quick chat discord setup is very, very simple. Now I encourage you to go through these steps yourself and, um, of course, add more capabilities to your quick chat bot so that, uh, whatever you uh, add on Discord is really powerful. I encourage you to look into adding a knowledge base, adding AI actions, and making your bot really powerful and useful for your users. So good luck, and please share what you've built with us. Thank you.